one thing I've always wanted to ask you <laughs> is, in the Blue Cranes, you've got these two giant personalities <laughs> playing saxophone which is, is an instrument of giant personality. Right. Where does where do you fit in that band? What is what is what, what is the what, where is the keyboard function in that band? That's a great That's a good Well, question. I've always wondered about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um I think that it starts with the origin of the band starting out as a trio. Uh huh. Um, well, actually, a duo because it was mm -hmm. Reed and Jai, the yeah. saxophone and drums, um, and then Keith came on, and then Reed tried several other chordal instruments, a uh -huh. few different people, um, especially on guitar. And for his vision, for the, the music and how he wanted his sound and songs to be executed, the mm -hmm. guitar wasn't working for him. Yeah, I can and, see that. Um, he just wanted something um, initially, and I think that's it, that in a way it's kind of remained very, very simple, that would flesh out the chordal information ah. um, and sort of like fill up the sound in a way that mm -hmm. the guitar wasn't filling in all the cracks and everything. So mm -hmm. having a sort of the sounds and things that I choose are often sustained um, and have a way of giving the listener the harmonic information mm -hmm. without yeah. taking over yeah. in any way and, and kind of serving the song above everything else. Uh, does that leave you enough room? Yeah, in a yeah. way, I really enjoy that rule uh -huh. um, because in you know other bands and things, I kind of step forward a little bit more, and uh -huh. this way, it's nice to it's nice to to be on the side, and it's nice to be extremely supportive. And I love it, and I get I get moments here and there, back and forth with different players, and I think above all. Um, you know, the personal, like, one-on-one -on -one interaction or interaction with the group as a whole mm -hmm. in Ukraine is, is the foremost way that I get enjoyment from the band. I love playing with They're my family, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's always it's always interesting, you know, that, that there's some point in the show when when when, when you go, oh, Rebecca's going to have a solo. Oh, this is this should be good. <laughs> I think, you know, that this people wait, wait for it, you know? Oh, that's nice to hear. <laughs> Because they're so, you know, the two of them are so such giant personalities. Right. You know, um, is that is that easy? Is that easy to, to work with? Absolutely. I mean, because I know that they're <laughs> that, that that they're not jerks. I mean, I know they're nice guys. Right. I yeah. think because it's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it's um, you know, none of us never really know what to expect. I mean, we have the songs are our platform, and, uh -huh. and we have our roadmap, but then. We'd never know exactly how they're going to turn out, and so. Uh -huh. Well, one of the interesting, interesting things I've always about the blue, blue Cranes is that you guys can play to any audience, and it seems to work. Now, this gig coming up at the Montevilla Jazz Festival, right. where it's going to be full of other really serious musicians, <laughs> you know, have you guys? Are you guys? Get, are adjusting your set for for this festival, or are you just going to be go be the Blue Cranes? We're just going to be the Blue yeah. Cranes. We don't really have a choice. Uh -huh. To I don't think that we can be anything else. Yeah. But the Blue Cranes, yeah. and yeah. yeah, we're just sort of um, we're going to play the hits <laughs> as we laughed about. <laughs> and let's just play the hits, and we're going to try a new uh, song, a new arrangement, uh -huh. another uh, cover of a Chuck Westmoreland. Really? Song. It's um, we covered his tune Polaris, uh -huh. um, and love playing that live. And then we actually just played at his wedding, and um, Reed fell in love with a song of his called "I Saw Baby," uh -huh. and decided to just for us to work on it personally and sort of surprise Chuck with that at the wedding. Uh -huh. And uh, we've loved working on it so much. We've um, worked it up during the last rehearsal, and we're gonna uh -huh. bring that forth. Uh -huh. So. Still kind of 
bridging that gap between um, a lot of different genres, singer, songwriter, rock, yeah. Um, yeah. and bringing all of it to the foreground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. I I don't really know of very many other bands that can play to so many different audiences and still work. What's the secret to that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Jai and I still always talk about like why. Why do people like this music? <laughs> it's <laughs> odd. I mean, we yeah. like it, but also it's. Yeah. It's it really doesn't fit any one way, but. Uh -uh. And because we've played so many, I mean, our first show on tour ever was opening up a tattoo studio and playing with um, a couple of like punk bands. And I think that, I don't know if we had our preference between like a fancy jazz club or like a punk venue, I think we might pick the punk venue. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. No diss on the jazz venues. So uh, is Swansea still, still happening? Absolutely. Yeah. We're very busy. And yeah. that um, yeah. has been wonderful. We got to do our very first European tour ever. Um, and we were out for a month and um, just came home in June. So now we're busy um, planning an East Coast tour and have some shows in town. Uh -huh. um, Still with a, t with a toy piano? Yes! <laughs> I think it's more attention than any of us, of so we can't yeah. lose it. <laughs> Well, there was a band back in the 80s who had a, fun, a, a tune called A Funny Thing Happened to Me on the Way to the Toy Store. And they played all toy instruments. Oh, wow. Now, that got a little... After the second tune, it was like, okay, what else do you do? Right. <laughs> you know? But, of course, it's different for, for, with your band. <laughs> yeah, it's, it has one song. We've thought yeah. about making another song for it, but yeah. I don't know. It gets enough attention, that thing. <laughs> Any recording? Yes, uh, we are actually um, working on a recording today of um, the today? New, new Swansea tune. <laughs> this day, right now, today? Right now, oh, yeah. Cool. have some keyboard parts to lay down. Mm -hmm. um, we've pretty much finished the next record, um, and it's in its final mixing stages, and it's a lot. Uh, that, that whole group is more um, going in this kind of dancey, mm -hmm. art pop direction. Mm -hmm. And it's fun yeah. having a lot of really upbeat stuff to play. Yeah. <laughs> this song that we're working on is called Samurai. Uh -huh. And basically the chorus is just Kylie and I screaming Samurai at the top of our lungs. <laughs> well, it's when when hilarious. do you think that'll be out? I'm thinking... It's tough to say. Um, yeah. Probably, realistically, um, kind of spring of 2015. Okay. Yeah. And of course I've got to ask you... When you think there may be a new Blue Cranes album? Oh, well, there's been rumblings of yeah. concepts, and yeah. in our last rehearsal, we uh, are talking um, about um, kind of getting together some ideas and, and starting to work on them. Um, so, I don't know, but we're talking about it, working on it, thinking about it. Well, there's a tease. I know. It's like, <laughs> I don't know what I should say, but um, <laughs> what do I give away? Yeah, really. Um, it's going to be quite different, though, and, and, and it's something that sparks um, uh, fun in us. So. Will we hear some of that spark at the festival? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but not, none of the material, but maybe okay. the energy of it. All right. Know. Okay. Well, have a good festival. Thank you. Okay.